Author's Note This video is my review of Kung Fu Panda 3, directed by Jennifer Yu Nelson and Alexandro Carloni, produced by DreamWorks and distributed by 20th Century Fox, and starring the voices of Jack Black, J.K. Simmons, and Brian Cranston. Who are you? I'm Lee Shan. I'm looking for my son. <gasps> hey, how's it been, folks? It's been a month since I did a movie review. So today, we're going to look at Kung Fu Panda 3. Kung Fu Panda 3 takes place after the first two films and the animated series Legends of Awesomeness. This time, the film focuses on Po reuniting with his birth father, Li Shan, and returning to the very village that the Dragon Master originally lived in. The first parts of the film are rather silly and lighthearted compared to Kung Fu Panda 2, but it does have its dark moments. However, it's the latter part of the film that actually does shine. In some cases, the whole film does remind me a bit of the My Little Pony Season 4 finale, Twilight's Kingdom. Speaking of which, the new villain Kai does remind me a bit of T-Rex, except even more scarier. While not on the same level as Lord Shen of the second film, Kai does actually prove to be almost as big of a threat as Shen was, not to mention he turns warriors into chi medallions. Man, if T-Rex was a lot like this Kai character, I, I mean the other ponies would be in big trouble. Now, I need to throw off this rant. If you've seen the TV ads, the training montage looked completely goofy and silly. But in the actual movie, the training montage was completely different and awesome. DreamWorks, I know you're trying to promote a movie, but don't show something goofy. Show something awesome. Do it for the sake of a legend of awesome. Now, obviously, this film can't hold a candle to Kung Fu Panda 2, which is deserving of magnum opus of DreamWorks. But Kung Fu Panda 3 is actually a good film. In fact, this is a better way for animated films to kick off 2016 compared to that awful Norm of the North. Good thing I didn't go even anywhere near it. Blech. Back in 2014, all remember the video of my meeting with Jack Black and Kyle Gass at Comic Con. It was actually a fun memory of meeting the voice of Paul from Kung Fu Panda. And fun fact, Kyle was the voice of KG Shaw in the first Kung Fu Panda film. Interesting, huh? Anyway, I'll see you next time with another movie review. Catch you later.